Okay, I'm about to go to PT, but I just wanted to briefly show you guys. Um, I've had my hair in the same bun all week long. I haven't done anything else to it except tie my scarf and be able to put my cap on the top of it each night. And then when I take it off, it looks like this. Relatively smooth um, and frizz free. Uh, just showing that because when I get home, I'm more than likely going to go ahead and, and wash and do what I'm going to do to it for the weekend. So, hit you back. Okay, I just got home from work. I'm tired. <laughs> I really don't feel like making this video right now, but the weekends are the only time I do anything to my hair other than putting it in a bun. So I figure I should record <clears throat> a freaking video. So yeah. Um, whew, ouch. Um, I've had the same bun in all week. And I'm about to take it down. And normally, I would do a twist out on freshly washed hair. I like never do twist outs on um, stretch hair. No particular reason, just never happens that way. I normally just go ahead and wash my hair. <clears throat> I'm going to wear it tomorrow. And it's cold tonight. I just got it. It's midnight. I just got in from work work outside so I'm cold I'm really cold and as you can hear my tub is tripping not only is it leaking but the water well when you turn the water on for it to run the water's hot but as soon as you flip it to take a shower the water gets cold I don't understand it and I haven't had a chance to uh, report it yet so well I reported the leak and something wrong with my lock on my door. They can't fix the lock on the door and didn't fix the tubs. So that's what that's about. Anyway, I'm gonna do a quick, really, really quick. I don't feel like doing anything, but whatever. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do, guys. I got some clips up here. And you're gonna see, like, literally, it doesn't take a whole lot of anything to make your hair look like something if you have some prep time. So only things I'm going to use some water some of this Joyco Smooth, Smooth Cure Leave-In Rescue tri Treatment for Curly Frizzy Hair and of course Scrape Seed Oil and I'm just going to randomly so that there's not harsh parts to blend later I'm just going to randomly pull hair I'm going to make this a twist out. Now, my twist outs normally do not turn out well unless I have my hair in like a million two strand twists and I take them out and it's fluffy and it's pretty. But when I just do sections up here, I normally do a braid out because it turns out better. The hair stretch more and there's more definition. But since my hair is already stretched, I'm going to try this in a twist. See how it works. Oh, uh, not flat twist, I'm not little. So I'm really just going to miss my ends, make sure they're moisturized. But I don't want my hair to shrink up at all, so I'm not really going to put it on the top part. And tomorrow's wash day. I'm washing my hair tomorrow. So. And this is the leave-in. I'm just making sure this is evenly distributed. I'm not going to put any gel or anything on my edges. I'm going to sleep with the scarf on and got to lay it down enough. I'm not liking. And this is the grapeseed oil. Okay. And I'm just going to twist this. Mm -hmm. And I twist it going out like this because whenever I twist it down, one whatever end happens to be on the bottom winds up being, winds up being shorter than the other piece. And then I have to pull a section of hair from the other side. And there's tangles when I get ready to take it out. So. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't even have curlers anymore. I don't know what happened to them. When I moved, they never resurfaced. So, they're probably down there. They are down there. <laughs> I didn't even have to look down there that long. So I may put a roller in the end. Who knows? I don't feel like probably won't feel like sleeping in those rollers. 
Anyways, so to catch you guys up, I uh, have been separated from my husband for six months. Long story. Um, we are not getting back together. Um, I ended up having to move from the apartment that we were living in. It was way too expensive for my income alone. Um, I could still afford it, but I wouldn't be able to afford much else. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't have as much flexibility. So I decided I was going to move back on this. I was so far out too. So I said I'm going to move back on this side of town. Move in with my sister. Who also, she lived with my parents and wanted, you know, to move out. Um, so I figured this cool, we'll split the rent. It will be good. And I kind of rushed it, kind of hurt me out of there, and then had to pay them a big fee to terminate the lease, and got here, and luckily the first month uh, was free. It's drama on the move-in, lack of communication uh, with the freaking housing people, and it's just been a nightmare ever since. I feel like living here, stuff's always breaking, the freaking people freaking rude you know and they freaking went up on the rent without even notifying me like I just had been paying rent for like three months and then all of a sudden got a letter saying that I owe back rent <laughs> and I'm like what and um so yeah that's a hot mess in itself so and then the lease doesn't even say what the fee is to terminate here um Go talk to them. They say, oh, it depends. What? So I'm just like, really don't want to have to pay another termination fee. But I want to get the heck out of here. I mean, this place is just it's unacceptable. I kind of wish now I would have just stayed where I was and just stayed by myself, you know. It would have been less stressful. And it would have been, I would have been paying more per month. <clears throat> but, um. I just think it would have been worth it. I should just stay where I was. <laughs> mm -hmm. And like I said, I'm just picking random old sections. Just random, random sections. Now that's too big. <laughs> Stretch my hair by leaving it in a freaking bun. Oh, bun. I did not take the bun out at all. From freshly washed hair. Uh, now, uh, I did um, put the bun, like put my hair, like I put my hair in a ponytail. I put my ponytail into one big fat two strand twist and then rolled that on itself to make the bun. So. It wasn't just loose hair in the bun. Okay. Normally when I want a really, really, really defined twist out, which I have done a long time because I've been wearing so many protective styles, but <clears throat> and I do want a really super ultra defined twist out, um, especially when my hair is freshly washed. I do flat twists. Then a two strand flat twist. And um, I get really good results. Everything is ultra, ultra, ultra defined. And I, if I remember, I'll insert a picture here somewhere, but I, ha I haven't done it in literally over a year. So, yeah. And then there's that piece here. <clears throat> and then when I 
loosen this, I'm going to rub some more grapeseed oil on it. And depending on how good it looks, I'll see. You know, if I put a headband on it or make it up, do it, whatever. The plan is to just wear it down. Um, but, you know, you never know what your hair is going to do. <laughs> um, but, like I said, my hair is already stretched. I'm putting great seed oil on it, so it'll be uh, shiny tomorrow. And um, that'll be that. I'm tired. I'm not working out tonight. I worked out before work. I normally come home and work out again, but I haven't worked out at night all week because I'm doing insanity. I do regular PT with my command Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And there's a run group that I do. Shoot! I love this piece out. I'm going to put it back there. <laughs> it's a running that I do on Saturday mornings, uh, but every day except Wednesday, because that's the off day, uh, I do insanity. But this whole week, I've been literally going to work at 8 o'clock in the morning and not leaving until 10 o'clock at night. So, needless to say, I haven't been doing the same. I have been doing the other workouts though. Uh, but I haven't been doing the same when I get home. And obviously I can't do it before I go to work because I've been at work all freaking day, all freaking day. So I'm, I've been off a bit for like three days now. So that's definitely not good. I'm trying to decide. Uh, obviously I'm going to pick it up again on tomorrow because I'm off tomorrow. I'm going to pick it back up and then from then on I'm just going to do it in the daytime because I work nights. So I'm going to do it. Uh, every time before I go to work to make sure I'm back on my schedule you know when I'm tired I get off work or not you know it's already done so that's the plan but um I'm trying to decide am I just gonna skip those days that I miss or kind of backtrack myself to those days um, or try to play catch up and do two of the workouts a day I'm not sure about that part either way I will be back on it and sanity on freaking uh, tomorrow okay I'm gonna make this two or three more uh, section then I'll be done I haven't been uploading these videos I've made one or two videos but I haven't uploaded to the other one they're just sitting on my camera so hopefully Sunday I will go through and upload some of these darn things. I haven't made that many because I really haven't been doing anything to my hair. I'm doing my protective styling, so this is the most interesting thing I've done in my hair once. <laughs> um, so but as to why I haven't uploaded in one or two videos I have made. Just lazy. I mean, I have been working in, working out a lot, but I mean, it doesn't take that much to at least upload them to the computer. <laughs> you know, plug it in, let it do its thing. So there's really no excuse, really. I just haven't felt like it. Dang it. There was a request for me to do a twist out, you know, when I do it with the, the flat twist. But I just, tonight I'm really not in the mood. Especially the, the picture that she saw that she wants me to recreate. I did it on wet hair, so I have to wash and tangle and do all that. And, which I'm doing tomorrow anyway, but I'm just putting my hair in a bun tomorrow after I wash it. I'm not styling it. So I will do that, but dang it. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, I will do that, but I'm not going to do it uh, this weekend, I think. I'm going somewhere next week. It might be the weekend from that, but one of these weeks I'm going somewhere. And so I'll, I'll definitely wear that style so that I can um show you it's so simple really and there's so many I think that's part of the reason why I don't really do tutorials because 
every hairstyle that I, first of all, I don't wear a lot of hairstyle. I do a lot of protective styling. And second of all, every hairstyle that I could possibly think of to show you, there's already 50 billion tutorials on it. So, it's kind of pointless to do it, really. Um, but if you request it, of course, I will not deny you. I will definitely do it. And I do understand that um, people like to see, <clears throat> even though there may be a tutorial already out, you want to see someone whose hair is about the same length as yours or the same texture as yours, you know, or you're using different products. I do understand that um, aspect of it. So, And, uh, you know, personality makes a big difference, too. I want to see someone who's a little more animated or a little more reserved, a little more technical in their approach or whatever. I'm pretty boring <laughs> as far as I'm concerned um, when it comes to hair videos. I'm trying to get more uh, into it like I was my other channel. My old channel was Queen Cleopatra 0606 and I love that channel and I wish I still had it but I lost access to it. Forgot my password. I signed up for some stupid thing with Google and I don't remember what some, I don't know, some crap. And they won't let you get access to it so I haven't uploaded a video to that channel in more than two years. Um, but it's still getting hits. I love that channel. And I love a lot of the videos that I did on there. But I think that's another reason why I try not to get too into the YouTube thing because you never freaking know when they're going to cancel your crap or no, not they're doing. Okay, so anyways, this is it. This, and I left the piece out still. I'm always doing that. Okay. So, this is how this is. Now, what I think I'm going to do is gather these. Hold on. Make sure this one is tight enough to freaking do something. Just gonna pull these back. Into a ponytail. And uh, bunning it back there. Uh, I don't want a bunny. I don't want them to be. Bit, you know. Take this point and hold it off. I was thinking I was going to keep them stretched that way. Oh, and this little piece of hair I am. Oh, I got freaking hair left eye everywhere. I don't care. I'm not in the mood right now. So, yeah. Um, make sure this one is. Anyway, um, I don't want that little indentation in there so I'm just gonna use my scar and then just kind of fold it so that the hair on the right side goes to the left side of my head and the hair on the opposite side goes opposite side so they're both kind of inside these scars that makes sense Oops, let's make sure they are colored. Ugh. This little sucker over here don't want to come on for right with me. So I need to be very careful how I take this off because my hair is wrapped up inside. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this on. That's gonna be it. I'll show you guys looks tomorrow. Peace.
that I would get if I did it on um, wet hair and apply gel or another heavy product like a heavy butter um, and it did it to stuff. I did it on dry but you know I did it on dry already stretched hair very loose big jumbo twist and it's just soft um, hardly there just just kind of a beach wave you know if you had more of a wavy instead of curly hair and then got your hair wet just let it air dry at the beach that's that's the kind of vibe i'm getting from it it's very light fluffy very shiny very uh healthy looking of course and it's a good way to uh retain the length because if i twist out one going to be very short like my washing goes so this is a great way to not get it ultra defined um, but to get just a soft little bit of texture, a uh, little bit of weight, and keep a lot of length. So I really like it. I really like it. And because it only came with a few twists, you could do this in like four twists overnight and then get the same look the next day. But I'm going to wash uh, either tonight or tomorrow morning, uh, tomorrow Sunday, I'm going to wash and go ahead and uh, bun my hair back up for the week. But yeah, I really do like it. Really, really like it, and it was so easy. So now I know when I do do my um, buns for the whole week, I could take it down and do this, you know, to get for whatever I want on Saturday nights before I do my wash day. So I really, really love it. I can't stop playing with it. So I'm like, let me get my hands about it. <laughs> but yeah, let me guys know what you think. I like it.